How to lower or access the spare tire on a Hyundai Santa Cruz. I'll show you. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive MT. Today, I'm going to show you how to lower or access the spare tire on a Hyundai Santa Cruz. Hopefully, you'll never need to do this, but if you do, it's important that you know how to do it. First thing that we have to find are the tools because you're gonna need those to lower the spare tire. So if you didn't know, they're located right behind the passenger front seat or the below, I guess, the passenger seat in the rear. So we'll go ahead and pull that up and you can see there they are. Now, we're not gonna pull out the jack because we don't need the jack. We're not actually gonna jack it up, but we need the tools. So we need the wrench, let's pull that out of there. And I've never done this before, so it'll be a learning experience for me as well. I think that's all we need. What else is in here? Let's just see. Matter of fact, you know what? Let's just lift the whole thing out of there because you can. Let's do this. I should have left it all in there. Would have made it a little easier to carry, I guess. But let's take the whole thing out. And there's what it looks like without the jack and stuff in there. So let's take this over here and we're gonna actually take a look inside and see what we have. Okay, much better lighting now. We have the wrench, we have this socket looking kind of thing. I know what this is for, I think. And then we have the jack obviously here and then there is a tie down and that's to tie down the tire that you're gonna change if you have a flat in the bed. We're not actually gonna do that. So, first thing you need to do, and this is interesting, it says you need to remove this little plug here. And it says to do that by inserting a screwdriver or maybe a coin, something in that slot to go ahead and pull it out. Now, here's something that's important to know and you might wanna have with you, maybe throw a screwdriver in there with the tools that you use to change the tire. Uh, I don't have anything like that in the, in the truck right now, and I don't carry change. So I would be at a bit of an impasse, probably trying to stick a credit card or something in there to turn that. So I'm going to grab a screwdriver. We're going to see how easy it is to pull that little piece off. One more thing I do want to note. I went ahead and pulled the jack out. There is another tool below everything right here. We may need that. I'm not sure if for nothing else than to use as leverage to lower the tire. So we'll sit that over here with the tire tools or removal tools as well. Okay, I've got a screwdriver that I actually had put some shrink uh, tubing around um, for a different project. This is the one I think I'm actually going to leave in the truck with the rest of the tools so that I don't damage this. The last thing you want to do is damage this thing because you'll be able to see it. So you're supposed to insert that in and then turn it counterclockwise. And it is very simple to do. I wonder, let me put it back in. If I tried to use my hand, let's see. Yeah, I could do that. I don't know if yours will be as easy, but I could do that with just my hand. So don't necessarily need a tool. Now inside there is a screw or a bolt of some sort that you're supposed to stick the end of the tool, this one, it looks like this inside. So, let's see how far in, and it goes in quite a ways. I don't know if I'm grabbing, it doesn't feel like I'm grabbing anything yet. Maybe I am and it's just that easy, I doubt that very much. Maybe I have the wrong side in, let's try the other side. Yeah, it's actually, you would think it was the larger side that you put in. It's not, it's the smaller side and that is going to go against a bolt that's in there, I can feel it. Now I cannot turn it with my hand, so it appears you have to use the uh, wrench here and they don't give you a lot of space between your bumper and where this turns, so I'm hoping it's not gonna smack anything. The good part is you don't need any more tools. You don't need this. Uh, to do this. And this thing, by the way, fits in like so, so that you can get some leverage with it, but not in this case. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to crank the spare down. You do that by turning this handle counterclockwise and it should lower the spare. We're going to take a look at that. All right, here we go. 
not very tight and pretty simple to do and you can see there is clearance between the handle and the bumper so you're not gonna smack anything which is good you know how much this takes there it's coming down you guys probably could see it before I could okay it would appear that we have it down as far as it's gonna go now, to remove it, you should be able to lift the tire up slightly, and this little piece on the inside should come out. So, let's go ahead, because if I was really needing to do this, yeah, you can see how it moves away. Just kind of have to tilt it the other way. Kind of finagle it through like that. That's how it's done. Uh, it could go a little bit lower. That would be nice. Now, let's get this thing out here and take a look at it. And I'm gonna check the tire pressure while I'm at it because if you notice, and I don't know why they do this, they always put the air fill nozzle up against the truck. So you can't fill it unless you lower the spare. So I'm gonna get it out here and look at how tiny this thing is. Let's see how much air that's supposed to have in it. And it should say over here on the card in the door, it says spare 60 PSI, you can see right there. So, we grab a tire gauge. We're going to see if it has 60 PSI in it. The last thing you want to do is be out somewhere and have your tire, your spare tire, flat when you need it. Again, these are things nobody thinks about until it happens. And then you can be stuck. So, let's go ahead, check and see where we are. 50.5 is what it says. Um, it's supposed to have 60, so I'm going to fire up the compressor and we're going to put a little more in it uh, because obviously I want it to be what it's supposed to be. Okay, there you go. I put it at 60.5. Uh, again, it'll lose pressure. Not a bad idea to check it once in a while. Again, last thing you want is to need it. Uh, be stranded somewhere and your spare tire is flat. Mine was low by about 10 pounds, so glad I'm checking. Now, we'll show you how to put it back on the truck. To put it back on, just the opposite of what we just did, right? By the way, not a bad idea to have some gloves in there too. I need to do that, preferably some without holes in them. But you wanna go ahead and put the holder back in the center. Should be able to just kinda of finagle that in, like so. And then when you raise it, you wanna make sure it's seated properly, like so. It does have grooves in it, so pay attention to that when you put it back up. Now, it's just a matter of wheeling it back up or turning it back up clockwise the same way that we got it down. So we'll do that next. Okay, that's how you put it back up. They did say to tighten it back up until it clicks. You hopefully could hear a click there. That's it. Now we have to go ahead and put this thing back on. See if we can get this out. Okay, did seize a little bit. This, there's just a little couple of nubs on the other side. Let's go ahead and stick it back in the way you got it out and then turn it. I'm gonna use a screwdriver. It's not necessary, it doesn't seem. But nonetheless, I can't imagine it's gonna stay that easy once the dirt and grime and heat and everything else affects it. So I would keep a screwdriver or something with you to put in that slot so you can get it off. Now, just have to put all the tools back away. Okay, there you go. Not too difficult. Um, matter of fact, probably one of the easier ones that I've ever done. Uh, the only thing I would criticize it about briefly, slightly, is if it went down a little bit further, a little more slack in that cable so you could get that centerpiece out a little bit easier. Pretty minor thing, because it wasn't that difficult to begin with. Um, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Were you aware of how to do it? Have you done it before? And hopefully you haven't had to actually use it, uh, but I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, all about Toyota Tacomas, and Rob Motive JT, all about Jeep Gladiators. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.